Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? J-Dub here doing another sneaker unboxing review. Um, should have done this yesterday, but I was a little busy at work yesterday. Uh, not to mention Black Friday, craziness at the mall and stuff. So, um, Black Friday, Jordan released another classic sneaker in a classic colorway. Um, you guys already know what I'm talking about. Jordan 3 Retro OG True Blue with the Nike Air branding on the heel tab, the Nike Air branding on the bottom, and the Nike Air branding on the insole. Um, in my honest opinion, these are a very, very good looking shoe. Um, you really can't beat that, that classic true blue color, um, especially with the, the Nike Air branding on the back, guys. Um, with that being said, it took me three different tries to get my pair that I wanted without any flaws. And again, I know when I say it, not any flaws, any major flaws. Um, glue stains are a, a pretty much a given nowadays with Jordan Retros, so... Um, that is to be expected unless you're buying the premium $400 shoes. Um, I went through a size 12, size 13, and a size 14. Um, I am naturally a size 13. Uh, figured I'd try 12 just to prevent the creasing in the toe box, which I know everybody hates, but um, tried those on a little tight, so I moved up to a size 13. Tried those on for some odd reason, those fit the exact same way as the as the 12 so um i said you know what i'm gonna go with the 12 it fits the same it's a little bit tight but you know what it'll help prevent creasing in the toe box didn't really look at them tried them on the one shoe on threw them back in the box brought them home quality was absolute trash um i had glue stains i had uh parts of the elephant print missing um it was it was pretty bad guys so you guys that are doing local pickups please make sure that you guys do quality control checks on your shoes and make sure you're getting what you what you, you know what you're paying for. You're paying a two hundred dollar, two hundred twenty dollar, you know, with tax. You're talking two thirty, two forty, depending on where you're at in the United States. Um, you want to get the shoe that you're paying for. You know, you don't want to have to go out and re swap out and everything else. So, um, with that being said, I went to a size fourteen. It fits like a size thirteen. So these do not fit true to size, guys. And in my honest opinion, I don't know if it's the way they put the shoe or built the shoe I'm sorry I don't know if it's the leather they're using I'm, I'm not really sure um, but the 14 fits like a 13 to me now again I could be totally off about that somebody else could wear a size 13 buy a 13 and it could fit them fine um, again everybody's a little bit different could be the size of my foot but I've always worn a size 13 in Jordans guys I've never had a problem um, up until this one and again I know the toe box is kind of narrow um, but it, sh it shouldn't be a full size up, in my opinion. Um, now, on with the review of the shoe. Um, I know a lot of people are disappointed with the red, the red, and the red hits right here. I personally think that makes the shoe pop a little bit more, in my opinion. Um, again, that's just my opinion. It doesn't have to be your opinion. That's my opinion. Um, I do like this shoe a lot. Um, I did have the 2011s. Um, those were by far superior than these. Um, but I did get rid of my 2011, so hence the reason I purchased these. Um, now, I do have two pairs of these. I have a 13 and a 14. I'm going to keep both, uh, keep one on ice, you know, and then I'll, I'll, I'll rock one of them. Um, I'll probably rock the 14, keep the 13 on ice. Um, but here in the Midwest, I'm going to have to wait till springtime because a majority of the, of the shoe was white, and I don't want to destroy that, you know, before, you know, summertime, springtime comes next year. Um... So again, just to recap, uh, you guys do need to do a quality control check on your shoes. I know there's a lot of problems with leather people are complaining about. I think the leather is okay. Um, this one does look better than the one I did have previous um, as far as the tumble goes. Um, I'll just show you guys. I know you've already seen the shoe. You can actually see the tumble in this one. Uh, the other one, this panel right here, um, was pretty smooth. Um, so again, quality control, guys. You need to make sure that you're getting what you're paying for. You don't want to go out and spend two hundred and twenty dollars and you know two forty with tax out the door. Get home and 
you know, see that, okay, well now I have glue stains or, you know, this is messed up. This is, this is higher than the other one. Um, again, there's a ton of different things that there could, you know, could be problems. And again, you might get a pair that's, that's perfect. Again, it, it's all the luck of the draw. Um, for you guys that are purchasing them online, um, it's a little bit more difficult for you guys. I understand that. But when you get them, quality control them and make sure you're getting what you pay for. Uh, the more you send them back, you know, maybe eventually Jordan will catch on, Nike will catch on, and they'll start doing better quality controls. Just because you have a sticker on the inside of your box doesn't mean they didn't look at it or just throw that sticker on there, you know, saying that it was quality controlled. Um, with that being said, you guys who want them, I hope you guys get them. Um, in the next couple of weeks, there's a couple of other big releases coming out. You got the Air Jordan 9, white, red, and black. Um, they're calling it the Space Jam. I don't know why. Um, you have the Space Jams coming out the week after that. Uh, you got the top three ones coming out Cyber Monday, which is two days from today. Um, those are supposed, supposedly supposed to be very, very limited. Um, they said about as much as the black toe. So those of you who tried online and didn't get the black toe, uh, you guys might want to try to secure your pairs now because it's looking like they're a hard shoe to get. Um, Jordans are supposedly supposed to be mass produced. They're saying more numbers in the 7210s, which I picked up eight hours after um, they sold out online last year, um, and I picked them up at the Jordan store downtown. So that could be a reason that I, that I did have a chance to get them was because I went to the Jordan store. Um, but I did also pick up a size 13 and a size 9 for a buddy of mine. Um, so, but there was a ton of people in there, so they had a ton of pairs. They're saying those are supposed to be more produced, or the Space Jam is supposed to be more produced than the 72 and 10s. So, you guys that want them, hopefully you guys get them. Uh, here in the Midwest, or in Chicago at least, we have the confirmed app, I'm sorry, the reservation app through Foot Locker, Champs, and Foot Action, um, where you're able to reserve the shoe, pick it up at a store of your choice. Um, they usually go right around, you know, the three closest stores to you that you can pick. Um, and then hopefully, you know, you have uh, the ability to not even have to worry about it, the, you know, that Monday or that Saturday, whenever the shoe releases, you just go in, you have till 6 p.m. to pick it up. Um, and that's it, you just pay for it in store. Uh, you don't pay for anything on the app itself. But, uh, so yeah, um, hopefully that'll work out for me. I personally don't like the, the top threes. It's just not a shoe of, uh, that I enjoy. Um, I do have the bands. I do have the black toes from 2016, so I'm I'm good on the ones for right now. Um, so, uh, any questions, concerns, likes, dislikes, let me know down in the comments, guys. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button. Um, that's it. I hope you guys, like I said, if you guys get them, quality control them. Make sure you're getting what you pay for. 220 is a lot of money to be spending on a shoe. Um, and not getting, you know, a premium, a premium shoe. Now again, these aren't really premium, but you're paying 220 for the pretty much the Nike Air branding on these guys. Um, if you have the 2011s and you want to put those on ice, these are a good substitute um, for me. Again, I told you guys early in the video, I did sell mine, so that's why I picked up these. Um, again, any questions, concerns, comments, likes, dislikes, leave them down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them for you guys. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Good luck on Monday with the top threes, and I'll see you next week.